What's up guys, it is your boy Ratchet, and welcome to another tutorial of mine. In this episode we are going to be showing you guys how to make your own thumbnail using GIMP for free, absolutely free. So what you guys got to do is just download uh, GIMP, the link will be in the description. After you download that, you need a background for your thumbnail right? So I recommend this background which I use for most of my thumbnails. It's a starburst. Uh, background okay so there are a bunch of uh, different things to choose from in google images this is google images so you have these red ones you have yellow so if you see this we're gonna save this image because it's 720p and there's gonna be a background so max res default then what we gotta do is go to GIMP, right? File, open as layer. Okay. Then we go to YouTube where we saved it, which is in logo. Um, Max was default. Boom. There's our background. Now, as you guys can see, there are two windows to my right and left. These are gonna be very useful. So, if you guys don't have these windows, supposing that just comes up like this, you gotta go to Windows dockable dialogs layers that's window there and windows new toolbox that's your toolbox there so if you guys didn't know that hopefully it helped you out and if you didn't have that it'll help you out okay so next what you gotta do is find some text right we want text on our thumbnail to conv convey a message so what you gotta do is open up google images again google images no, not Google Images, sorry. There's a website I'm going to be linking in the description. So it's going to be, it's cooltext.com. I want you guys to go to that website. This is where we get our text and fonts from. So, sorry if I said Google Images, my bad. So we're going to choose this font. You can choose any font. Type in anything you want. In this case, I'm going to do it. Thumbnail, tutorial, let's see. Thumbnail, tutorial. That's it. So we're gonna change the font size. You can change it to whatever you want. Oops, I just dropped my controller. Create a logo. We can download the image right here. Now we're gonna exit the full screen crap. Okay, so then what you gotta do is file again, open as layer. The image which you downloaded, I downloaded in users, download the it's right here thumbnail tutorial so now we can re we have to reposition this image to where we like to right so what you gotta do is on your toolbox you see this move the move tool right here I'm gonna zoom it zoom in for you guys real quick on my XSplit uh, file add screen region let's just add the toolbox here and this is why I love XSplit I think I added the wrong region crap let's just remove this okay my bad okay so screw that we have a movement tool right here you guys can see just click that and make sure you have your layer selected and you can move oh crap I didn't have my layer selected on your layer toolbox just click that and you can move it around wherever you want so I just want it here the next you want to add some images right to make your thumbnail attractive so in this case we're going to add my own logo so again file open as layers you can download any image you would like to i'm sure you guys know how to do that using google images i'm going to just put my logo right there so tech got lots of banner i saved this app my bad okay so yeah we can reduce the size now we want to reduce the size of this right so we go to our layers select it then we go to scale tool which is just below your movement tool in your toolbox towards your left you can also press shift t to engage that and we're gonna reduce the size then we're gonna move it by clicking movement tool selecting our image and moving it so there is my thumbnail tada hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and helped it out and if you're upcoming youtubers using gimp to make thumbnails it's pretty easy so 
this is how I make my thumbnails and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like down below and please do subscribe for more amazing content my phone just went off um, so I'll see you guys in my next video I'm out peace